students and all the viewers today we are making an effort to those students who have been trapped at home because of the uh, situation of lockdown and covid-19 pandemic and the students who have passed class 7 and appearing class 8 and today we will uh, give the class of science and in science especially it has been divided into many categories uh, physics chemistry biology geology and astronomy and weather science and all together there are 10 units but today we are going to introduce class uh, we are going to uh, introduce about the measurement which we will study in relation first so students what is measurement what is its important how it is started why the process of measurement is different in different time from ancient time to now different practice has been made and today we are in the advanced technology of measurement yet in our book we will study about the history of the measurement also so let us start the topic measurement okay students so we are going to study about measurement today uh, one thing before beginning the lesson all the students who especially are attempting the answer of uh, science especially questions of science uh, you should keep in your mind that in writing the answer you do not require any long processes lengthy answers etc as you know science is the study of experiment proofs verification etc so it needs the logical answer fact answer so answers can be very short and fact so you should not give the very long answers that is why the definitions the units etc must be very uh, short simple and logical so let's go through the topic what is measurement measurement so measurement is the process actually this process is not the process of the book one thing you should learn that and you should keep in your mind that you are carrying out such activities from the beginning at home you buy many things in the general stores in the vegetable grocery so while reading this topic you should be connected with the process that you have carried out out of the home so that the study will be easier have you ever seen how does the shopkeeper measures the mass of the sugar mass of the salts mass of the dal pulses grains etc so the same process we are going to learn theoretically today so measurement actually is the process of comparison this is the process of comparison in which unknown quantity is measured or compared with the known standard quantity for example in order to buy one kg of potatoes from the general stores the shopkeeper takes potatoes in one pan of the beam balance which is uh, unknown quantity and in the another pan one kg standard uh, weight is kept which is the known standard quantity now by hanging when the two pans will be horizontal and when uh, two pans are equal in the you know needle of the beam balance when the beam balance is vertically upward then the mass of the potatoes will be measured so this is the comparison of unknown quantity potatoes with the known standard quantities the standard weight which is made up of iron which is called the dhak in nepali so while measuring the clothes the shopkeepers is the uh, especially uh, cloth seller use one meter rod the length of the one meter rod is already fixed which is the known quantity and the length of the cloth in the bundle is unknown quantity so with the help of that iron rod meter rod the cloth seller 
measures the length of the cloth and if the length of the cloth is equal to the length of the rod then the length of the cloth is measured so it is the process of comparison of one unknown quantity with another known standard quantity hence measurement is the process of comparison between two quantities in which one is known quantity standard quantity and another is unknown quantity in this world all the objects things are called the quantities objects but the quantities the objects which can be measured are called physical quantities like we can measure the mass of the potatoes we discussed already we can measure the length of the room distance we can measure velocity we can measure force work energy power etc such quantities that can be measured directly or indirectly are called physical quantities and the quantities that cannot be measured are called non physical quantities and non physical quantities especially uh, love hate and some different kinds of feelings we cannot measure them so they are non physical quantity for example if you ask for a money with your father and the father uh, do not give money to you then you become a little bit furious you get angry can you measure how much kg how much ton how much quintal uh, you got angry that time no we cannot measure the anger you love your sister brother father mother etc can you tell me how much kg how much meter how much liter love you can uh, you especially do with the uh, father mother and the other relatives no that is why love is also non physical quantity so such things such physical quantities which cannot be measured are called non physical quantity hence under this topic uh, we will study about physical quantities only so physical quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly they are of two types again they are the fundamental quantities and derived quantities so the quantities which can be measured means measurable quantities are called physical quantities quantities that can be measured like the mass length time force etc and non physical quantities are those quantities that cannot be measured here like love hate anger etc etc are non physical quantities because we cannot measure them all the physical quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly they are divided into further two classes further two categories they are the fundamental quantities and derived quantities so uh, let us go to identify the differences between a uh, fundamental and derived quantities with their definition first what are fundamental quantities fundamental quantities are those which are independent of themselves in order to measure them they do not require any kinds of help of other physical quantities so let us say time is a physical quantity length is a physical quantity so length time mass etc are a uh, fundamental or derived quantities so we should know first whether in order to measure mass we require the help of other quantities or not so in order to measure the mass we need a beam balance we can directly identify the mass of any kinds of matter any kinds of things that is why mass is fundamental quantity length is also fundamental quantity as we do not require the help of other physical quantities if you uh, have a meter rod you can measure the length of any kinds of room like the classroom uh, especially your height etc you do not go to take the help of other physical quantities so the quantities which can be directly measured which do not require the help of other physical quantities which are independent of themselves they are called the fundamental quantities so example of fundamental quantities are mass time 
length etc and you will learn more in the further uh, definitions and further discussion also so next is the derived quantity this is the next class of the physical quantity and derived quantities are also can be measured but derived quantity require the help of other quantity for example the measurement of velocity while carrying out the measurement of velocity as you should know that velocity is the distance covered by any object in one second so in order to measure the velocity we require two physical quantities one the distance covered which we measure in uh, meter and another the time taken we need watch to see it so distance covered is measured by the measuring tape and time is measured by the watch because of uh, carrying the help of these two physical quantities it cannot be directly measured that is why velocity is the for a uh, derived quantity so many more other quantities like the acceleration force work etc are derived quantities because in order to measure them we need to take the help of two or more than two fundamental quantities so let us talk about the work work especially is measured by the multiplication of force and distance covered or displacement so force already it is the derived because force requires mass and acceleration and again distance covered is measured in meter that is why in order to define work in order to measure work we need the help of two or more than two other uh, fundamental quantities that is why work is the derived quantity students we have defined measurement and different kinds of quantities like the physical quantity non physical quantity and physical quantities are further divided into uh, fundamental and derived quantities and what types of quantities are the uh, fundamental and what types of quantities are the derived we just learn in this first part and tomorrow we will study about the uh, importance of measurement standard units and the process of uh, measurement especially the system of measurements like the cgs mks fps and si system so when they are started etc in the next part and i uh, hope you will continue uh, watching our next part thank you see you next time be safe stay at home please convey your messages and feedback through sunakari village youtube channel in order to motivate and inspire our team